Okay, so here I am. Most of wave two is wiped out. One thing that is very helpful is if you need to make runs for supplies or to open doors and that sort of thing, rather than only using the limited amount of time that they give you between waves, just leave one or two really weak enemies out there and do all your running around then. Then kill them and it finishes off the wave. Now, I've not gotten my new second weapon yet, so here's our speed run to go get it, right? Jump, jump, cloak, transform, boost, right down in there to exactly where I need to be. Load it up, get in the habit of being able to fly straight to where you need to go, hold down that button, grab what you need. And remember with uh, weapons, when you grab weapons, unlike ammo or health, you actually have to hit square to get it. I fly back. Okay. Now I've got a photon burst rifle, which is nice, and I've got my regular neutron assault rifle, the original machine gun. These two are going to be your primary weapons. Generally speaking, you're going to be able to use that photon burst rifle, the sniper rifle, to shoot down here at enemies and pick them off a little more easily, whereas you'll use your neutron assault rifle more as just sort of a secondary weapon, shooting in bursts, you know, the Aliens movie, shoot in short concentrated bursts and everything, or when you are up against the big galoots with the Gatling guns and such, in which case you're just going to want to pump them full of neutron assault rifle ammo and your other ammo, then fly and get more ammo, come back and keep going until they're finally dead. Those guys can take a heck of a pounding. But now that you've got all your ammo, your next priority should be this. This door right here, right across from where you got the ammo, the door itself has that little activator thing down here, okay? It's 300 bucks. Right across from where you got the weapon, right next to where you've been getting your health, you're going to want to open up that door next. This is, remember, the overshield building, but most people usually go into the overshield building the stupid way, which is to go through this area here, and open up this side door. This is the one that leads to that little ramp that leads up to the overshield. The problem is if you go that way to get to the overshield, you're activating a portal that enemies can come through to come at you that you wouldn't have to do if you use the way that I just suggested. So our next goal, reach 300 to open up that door, which won't be useful for a bit, but it sure will be in a few moments. Now, I've gone forward here just a moment, taking out a couple enemies on wave three. This is the wave where the enemies start coming out of here with the missiles. Got hit. You notice that I'm down one small health bar. Another type of enemy that is usually a pain on escalation but is not too bad here are those enemies that cloak. Because you'll notice you can see, let me switch to my thing, you can see where the blasts are coming from and they're hitting directly underneath me. As long as I don't sit too close, like with that guy that came at me from the side just then, as long as I'm not too close to the edge, they won't be able to hit me with their shots. So what you want to do is just wait till you see one forming, shoot directly to the right with either weapon, but to the, directly to the right of where you see the energy coalescing, that's where your bad guy's going to be. With your missile guys, a couple of shots from the photon burst rifle should take them out. Otherwise, it's about 20 neutron assault rifle rounds that'll take them out. The key here is, though, just being aware of your surroundings as I'm not as much. See, there's our guys. Right, missile guys coming out from the side. Cloaked as soon as I had the opportunity. Limited the amount of damage. Let me shoot him. You can collect the little bits that let you do your whirlwind attack, but I'll be honest with you, you will probably never use it during escalation. But you notice that I'm down to two health. Your key component here is you must keep your health up. You can run out of ammo and then just go get ammo. That's fine but do not let your health fall too far. So now that I'm down here to two bars, that's further than I would normally allow it to be at all. I would only allow it to go down to three usually, but for the sake of trying to show this stuff, I let myself get hit there. <laughs> at least that's what I'm going to tell you. So what you want to do is a speed run for health, right? So jump, jump, cloak, transform, rocket along, health machine. You want to get in the habit of transforming as you get close to it so you're sort of guided down to the ground because then as soon as you hit the ground, you can hit your square button and start getting it. Come back up here, transform, cloak wears off after I have arrived. I'm safe, and now I'm fully healed. 
and I can take out the rest of the punks that are down here trying to take me out. Okay, so here we are back in wave three. Still, I'm just sticking these lower ones just to show you what the heck's going on. All right, now I've got over 300 so I can open that door. So I'm gonna wanna do my double jump, cloak, transform, and fly. Here's my door. Now what this opens up is an area that goes up this ramp. There's some ammo there if you need it. Grenades you're probably never gonna use. You run up here to the top and you're gonna find, and kill those guys, you're gonna find, this is one of those portals that the enemies can come through, but they generally won't very often, at least to start with. Here's a, another weapon you could get if you wanted it, but your chances are you're not gonna need it. Here's another ammo machine you're gonna use often, but not yet. And there's another door. This door here is 400 bucks, 400 points. That's your next goal. So I'm gonna transform get myself the heck back out of here. You notice how I really got to kind of fly around quite a bit just to get out of there. That's why that's not going to be your main ammo location, at least not yet. Until you open that door I just pointed out, that ammo location is really not very good for you. You still want to use the ammo location down here at the bottom, as was the case before. So here we are, getting ready to open up the next one as soon as I have enough points, and then I'll show you what those final speed runs start to look like. Okay, so here we are near the end of wave four. Let me show you how to open up that door now that I've got the money. I got 925 at this point. Jump, jump, cloak, transform, wee! Now you're definitely gonna run out of cloak here, but you go up your little stairs that you opened up all the way up here. And there's your little ammo place that you're gonna like, but you're not there yet. You can kind of see out over everything else. Go to the door, crank that sucker open. I'm probably gonna get attacked by some spiders here. Yeah, I figured. Get off me. Wave complete. Now here is the overshield. Costs 250. The overshield, of course, fills up your health and gives you that extra overshield power over top. And by opening up that door the way that you did, with this door still closed, this enemy portal doesn't open. Same thing, this door would open up a bridge. You don't want that because enemies could come at you from outside that way. But what you just created by opening up the portal the way you did is this little open air bridge here. And booyah! Essentially, this becomes the way that your runs are done from now on the entire game. You want grenades, which you'll probably never use. Drop down there, fly like I showed you a moment ago. Don't open up the top of the grenade building. You now no longer need the building behind you as the ammo building. Notice how there's the jets that I said were going to come out from behind and fire. And they'll come out from just about everywhere else you're open. I cloak. Give it a second. And there goes the flyer transforming to get out of the way. Right? There's a little bridge area that you didn't open way down there. So here's your speed run. If you are in need of ammunition. Whoa! Don't do it the dumbass way that I just did it without waiting for your cloak to recharge. That's the first thing. Duh. Notice. Jet guy, you shoot him once, he's going to spin. He'll try to duck. Hit him once, he's going to spin. The jet guys should be your absolute first priority. You don't take out the jet guys, you're dead. Back in a moment. So you're charged up with your cloaking device. Here's what you need to do. Okay? You want a speed run to get, let's say, uh, ammunition. Okay? cloak yourself, you're going to fly down here, the opening you just made, speed run over to this machine here, load up and get your ammo, turn right back around, fly your butt right back out, get up here onto the top before your cloak runs out. Notice I didn't get the ammo because I didn't need it, but that's what I'm saying. You're also going to have a speed run for health. You no longer need regular health, all you're going to want is an overshield. So you wait till your uh, stealth charges up again, and your speed run is going to look like this. You fly in and fly left. There's the overshield machine. Load it up, get what you need, turn right back around, fly back out the same hole, get back up to the top. So the beginning is basically just a holding action until you can unlock everything, and then you get back up to the top. You want to not let your overshield drop below about 50%, so keep loading it up. You're going to have the money to do it, no problem. Keep making sure your ammo runs pretty much all the way out, and then go get more ammo at that ammo machine over there by the overshield room. From now on, you're just using that balcony there. Here I am talking, get my ass kicked. From now on, you're just gonna use the balcony there for everything. 
and basically you're good to go. You just pound the crap out of them from here and don't ever open anything else up using only that overshield machine and only that ammo machine now that you've got your two doors open and you've got your uh, sniper rifle basically. Now the only other enemies that you really need to worry about is that near the end on wave 15, only wave 15, they will send out three of those tank guys that you fight otherwise in the single player game. The good news is they come out of this portal down here and you can see them as they're coming in. They can shoot you from there, but you can shoot them from there too, which is not going to do you a whole heck of a lot of good. When they come out, if you stay up here over around this area, the missiles they fire cannot hit you. Any of their ground attacks, because you're up above, cannot hit you. The only thing they've got is essentially these big purple energy balls that they fire at you, and you can see them coming because he will stomp before he fires them. Big, huge stomp. Can't miss it. As soon as you see him stomp, run under here. You're going to see the fire come in, and as the fire comes in, you just stay going this way until it's gone, come back out, his chest will be around here, and you just start popping him. And that's it. It's just a tedious game as I let myself die here. Uh, it's just a tedious game. It's a matter of patience. It's a matter of keeping your ammo and your health up and just making sure that the strategy is jump, cloak, fly. If you wind up going on a supply run and you wind up cloaking yourself and you run out of cloak or something happens like you bang into something, do not keep going on the supply run. Fly back until your, before your cloak runs out, then wait till it recharges and try again. The worst thing you can do is leave yourself open to attack. Along with that, you should also bear in mind to be careful on the way back out to get back onto the bridge in two ways. One, don't accidentally fly out and fly up into the bridge where the bridge is above you and you're stuck underneath it because by the time you get back out, your cloak will be gone. Chances are you're going to be attacked like my guy who has a pause here is still getting attacked. Um, also, the other way of caution, when you are initially flying out, especially from those ground-based ammo and health stations, be sure you don't fly too far up. I have run into a glitch where I've gotten stuck above the battlefield by flying too far up and going through something in the game geometry that screws me up and makes me have to restart. But as long as you go for that sniper pistol for 200, open up the first door for 300, open up the next door for 400, make those the only doors you open, and you constantly use your speed runs either at the beginning to go for that one health station or the one ammo station on the ground, or later, for every other wave after about four or five, you do your speed runs cloaked only to get to your overshield machine for 250 or to your ammo for 50, you're pretty much good to go. Just going to be a tedious battle that's going to last you a matter of several hours. And remember, you can bring in your friend on that last mission if you have invited them to begin with on that last wave to help someone else get what they need. But you notice here that because it's single player, as you play it, you're going to find the enemies that there's less of them, there we go, that there's less of them that you otherwise would have to fight because it sends out a number of enemies based on how many players there are. So one player also limits the number of enemies. Eventually you get to uh, about uh, between 5 and 10. They're going to send out the brutes with the shields and everything. Then eventually they'll send out the guys with the Gatling guns. And they do not send the tank guys out to the very, very, very end. But yes, they will show up. Yes, there will be three on Wave 15. But once you've defeated Wave 15, you've got your trophy. Beyond that, not sure why you would need to play, but you could keep going if you really are a masochist. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.